Okay, what we're seeing here is my platform with an array of 7 by 8 5 inch mirrors, 5 inch by 5 inch mirrors. It's on the floor where there's a bunch of floor tiles that are going to help me um, figure out the right angles to uh, model the sunlight. Right there is a target that I've set up that that's going to be my, that's that little white thing with the black spot is modeling where this I want all the sunlight from the sun whenever you're cooking with this thing to go to that one spot that's going to be the bottom of your pan. It's at a fixed it's in a fixed relationship to this platform on the floor. It's seven inches in front of the front corner like that. Now you see over on this uh, side is a little device that you use when you're actually putting this thing out in the sun you move the platform around until this little thing casts, the front edge of this little thing casts no shadow because that is a typical 50 degree angle of the sun it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a uh, June 15th um, in the summertime where I live and so what I have here is a little pl uh, little stand and a laser print, uh, laser print laser pointer that's uh, set on there at a fixed angle of 50 degrees. I'm going to turn on the laser pointer with a little mini clamp made of plastic there and it casts now casting a red spot on the platform there. It's very bright. So now we're going to move this thing back and adjust it so that the laser spot is correct. First we orient the um, base of the stand so that it's exactly in line with the tiles on the floor and then we move swivel the laser spot around until it goes straight onto that um, line the same line that I just aligned this thing with. That's my way of modeling the Sun. So what I'm doing now is making sure that somebody has not knocked my uh, laser pointer out of the correct angle. So I'm taking a protractor, I'm shining the laser spot down through the plastic of the protractor and confirming for my own um, satisfaction that it is shining down towards the floor at an angle of 50 degrees from the uh, horizontal, 40 degrees from the vertical. There we go. That's just right. So now we're going to move this uh, whole stand in uh, alignment onto a mirror and see whether it's uh, hitting the target correctly. Ah, and sure enough, bam, right on the target just about. I mean, it's not absolutely perfect. Right? So, uh, everything's set up correctly. And if, is, I've just moved it there to a different mirror and it's still um, going to the target. I'm going to get down there. There, it's on a different mirror now. See the laser spot is hitting the mirror where you can't see the spot on the mirror itself very well, but you can see that that one is also, that other mirror is also hitting the target. So that means that basically when all the sunlight's coming down from the same place in the sky, it's, it's like a point light source infinitely far away. And so all the light's coming at the same angle exactly, and this laser point is, is modeling it. And it's um, given me a reference of a way of, uh, what do you call it, setting up my mirrors correctly. Now I'm going to walk, uh, walk you through how I uh, actually glue the mirrors onto these half tennis balls which were on the uh, platform. I've got a mirror that got knocked off there by something or other and I'm going to put it back on there. I'm playing around, getting a general feel for the angle, and I pick the thing up put some hot glue onto the uh, tennis ball at roughly the right place. Then I put my mirror on there while the hot glue is setting. I'm orienting it so that it hits the target. Now this is a trial and error kind of a procedure. I'm going to sit there and fool with it for a moment because it seems to be not quite right. I'll tweak it a little bit here and there. The more you tweak it, possibly the more um, it will weaken the hot glue uh, the hot glue uh, join there 
but you know that's close enough there you go if, if they're all that close you're gonna have a really great focus you're gonna basically have a five inch by five inch spot in midair that is got all the sunlight directed towards it now the next thing I'm gonna do is I also kicked a whole tennis ball with its mirror off um, the platform by mistake so I'm gonna repair that too so I'm gonna stick uh, some hot glue around the circle at the bottom of the half tennis ball and turn it over and orient it in its little space there just gently make it stick down on the platform and then I'm going to take my little laser pointer um, device and shine it on the mirror and BAM! There it is dead straight on the target. So that's the basic manufacturing process for this uh, platform.